Well, it has been getting pretty close towards uncomfortably hot, but we're still seeing a lot of that dry weather, and that's what really has me concerned. Now, while we still deal with some of these pleasant conditions overnight, we're not seeing any cloud cover make its way in, but the tropics are definitely picking up momentum as we start to see a larger area sort of being watched. We're looking at the temperature change over the last 24 hours, again, all the way down into those lower 50s, making a good 37 degree run at those 90s, and we're already cooling off because that sunset keeps getting earlier and earlier. We've lost about an hour and 20 minutes thus far of daylight only from this summer. 89 in San Angelo, everybody else joining us in a combination of mid 80s, upper 80s, and lower 90s across the entire Concho Valley. Looking for 10 degrees, 83 in Sterling City, 91 down there in Junction, about 8 degrees across the entire region we do see some of those humidity values making their way up as some of that moisture is set to return still seeing those dew points in those 50s and those 40s all October long it's only the second while the humidity indices are still somewhere in those 20s and those 30s up from those teens earlier this week and by this evening we'll see how much they make their way up now the upper level pattern is showing you how this high pressure really settling in place now that's allowing those storms up towards the northern part of the nation to really move through pretty quickly now you see how strong they are that's letting you know how strong the high pressure is and and that high pressure is going to allow some of that tropical activity to try to fight its way back into the Concho Valley, but it looks like these strong cold fronts are going to hold them off. When we talk about these strong cold fronts, you can see it on the water vapor as it pushes down on those areas across the entire south, finally drying them out, allowing them to sort of clean up, but you can see the stationary boundary coming over the Concho Valley, and that's where we're still seeing those pleasant conditions, but still dry. Now, when we talk about the tropics, we're watching these concentrations of orange try to fight their way in from the coast, but you watch these cold fronts show up somewhere around Minnesota, they make their way down the Rocky Mountains and that holds that boundary layer in place again, sort of seeing how the Edwards Plateau keeps us protected from any of that moisture making its way in. A pleasant change across the severe weather outlook. Finally, everything quiet except for some of the areas in Florida. Now they're still seeing some of that light activity because the entire Gulf Coast is being watched right now with a 40% chance of formation in the next seven days. This is what we call safe forecasting as they have the entire region. Now we don't want another Helene situation on our hands, but everybody pretty much on edge as far as some of these activities we have seen. Remember when the hailstorm came through and everybody was sort of warning you from that severe weather. Very similar situation when we're talking about this hurricane. Now when we look at the probability of formation, a lot of hurricane fuel out there. Some of those sea surface temperatures pushing up towards 90 degrees. So this thing only needs a little bit more to organize itself and we'll see what happens in the next 24 hours. Now the, the satellite's showing you how everything's pretty calm. You can sort of see that dry air floating up towards the north. But the future cast is really just emphasizing the importance of how strong some of this formation could be as we get closer towards the weekend and those Friday night football conditions. We're still seeing those pleasant conditions here in the Concho Valley, but that cold front still holding off some of that activity on the Gulf Coast region that could fight its way in by about Saturday or so. But you can see how long that lasts, so we don't see a whole lot of activity. So tonight, dropping back down to the lower 60s, we'll see if we don't get cooler than that. Then tomorrow, starting out pretty cool, warming up by lunchtime. Then we're going to cool off pretty quickly, and that'll be the same case as we make our way closer towards Friday. That first week in October, still holding on to those same conditions. That second week of October, still going strong with those 90s and those 60s, but we have our eye on how dry it still is. Stay tuned. We'll have more up at the break. You're watching KSAN News at 5. Get it.